The International Organization for Migration, IOM, has held an event to mark the 2018 International Migrants Day, themed Migration with Dignity. At the special event which took place in Lagos, IOM, in partnership with the European Union and the federal government, has launched some information, education and communications materials to further enhance the campaign against irregular migration. Now, Oyin Adekunle was there and now reports. The irregular migration crisis is undoubtedly one of the major challenges confronting the world currently, with many mostly sub-Saharan African migrants desperately seeking to reach European shores by road through the Mediterranean Sea and Sahara Desert. Libya is a notorious route for many of these migrants, with over 11,500 stranded Nigerians returning to the country since 2017, and nearly 4,000 in 2018 alone. Most of the returns have been facilitated by the International Organization for Migration, while the Nigerian government is also organizing its own repatriation efforts. Yearly, December 18 is set aside to celebrate migrants and their contributions to different societies across the world. In this hall, an official of Nigeria's anti-trafficking agency expresses appreciation to the IOM for facilitating the return of stranded Nigerians home. NAPTI, we are against irregular migration because we know with irregular migration comes all issues of human trafficking. At NAPTI, we are grateful to IOM for the tremendous job you are doing. The National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons is also represented at the event. Alex Oturu notes that the focus should not always be on the negative impact of migration. In 2000, United States President Bill Clinton, when he visited Nigeria, indicated that he said one in every 10 doctors in the United States is a Nigerian. In 2012, the House Committee on Diaspora also revealed that 77% of black, of black doctors, registered doctors in the United States are Nigerians. So that means that Nigerian migrants are actually doing positive things in the world. So we must, we must not always look at it from a negative um, aspect. The IOM has also chosen the occasion of this celebration, which also coincides with the second anniversary of a joint initiative with the European Union, to officially launch the information, education, and communication materials. The IEC materials consist of a series of posters bearing different inscriptions on seeking opportunities at home, as well as on the dangers of irregular migration. After the unveil, they are then presented to stakeholders and partners. Other side attraction at the ceremony features exhibition by migrants who have undergone the IOM reintegration program, the program manager of IOM Nigeria further reiterates the commitment of the agency to creating awareness for better migration management. These IEC materials, they were designed, they followed a specific approach uh, in their development, meaning stakeholders from various uh, parts of the country gathered together, sat down and designed these messages to particularly fit the community and the local context. The fact that we stakeholders, including returnees, are gathered here today uh, is a good uh, example of how we all should work together. Um, and this was highlighted uh, uh, with the uh, global compact, adoption of the global compact uh, in Marrakesh, in Morocco, uh, a week ago, uh, which stresses on the uh, importance of collaboration to actually better manage migration. Uh, uh, in every in every country. On his part, the public information officer of NEMA speaks on the relationship between the agency and IOM. We were there when the materials were presented for review. I was there. Other stakeholders were there, and we make it we made it to be an in thing in Nigerian products, so that everybody will key into it and buy the idea of what we can easily communicate to people. So this one should be able to go in a long way to sensitize the parents, the traffickers, and the, and, and the victims who have, been, who have seen it all. It is expected that the newly launched sensitization materials will further consolidate the advocacy for safe migration pathways in Nigeria, 
They will also arm people with adequate information which will ultimately lead to preservation of lives and dignity of persons. Unyi Adekunle, TV360, Nigeria.